Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how you can create basic bidirectional Modbus TCP IP to MQTT gateway in the node red. Okay, it was very basic gateway for each holding register for each coil. You have to create some logic. Okay, it was not uh, working universally for every coil and every holding register. But in this video, we have optimized that flow. Okay, and in this video, we are going to cover that flow that uh, how that optimized flow can you know uh, act as a bidirectional Modbus TCP. CP IP to MQTT gateway okay so here is our node read flow okay and uh, in the very first two box you can see it is reading the data from my Modbus TCP device it is decoding Modbus TCP device data and encoding or you can say it is creating a payload for MQTT and then it will publish the payload to my MQTT broker and whenever any MQTT client write something on any topic, it will get that topic and it will decode that topic and based on the topic and value, it will write that data to Modbus device. Okay, so let me show you the demo for this flow. So here is our Modbus slave software, which is acting as a Modbus TCP device. You can see IP address and port number is 502. And here is my uh, MQTT Explorer, which is MQTT client software and right now this node read flow is up and running it is reading the data publishing on mqtt broker it is also subscribed to all the topics okay and it is uh, decoding that topic and based on the topic and the topic value it will write data to my modbus device so let's see the demo so if i uh, auto increment this first holding resistor okay then you will see that update here you can see holding register zero. So every two seconds, it will read the data from my Modbus device and it will publish the data on my MQTT broker. Now, if I want to update the any holding register value from zero to four, then I can do it from my MQTT client. So suppose if I want to update holding register three and the value I want to update is 55, then I can do it from here. You can see the value 55 is written. Okay, and if anyone turn on my coil, okay, coil number zero, then I can see that update here. And if I want to turn off the coil from my MQTT client, then also I can do that, okay? So it's a coil zero. What I can write is, I can write zero to turn that coil off. You can see it is turned off. If I want to turn it on again, then I can write one and I can publish and you can see it is turned on, okay? And if I want to turn it off again, I can write zero and it's turned off. If I want to turn on the fifth coil, then also I can do that one and publish and you can see the coil is on and uh, if I want to write any holding register from my MQTT client as well then also I can do that I have already explained about holding register 3 that we can write any value to any holding register okay and if you want to see again the demo for holding register 4 then 32 and publish and here you can see if I change the value from here then also you will see the update here okay Okay, so it's a bidirectional. Your Modbus data is read by NodeRed and it will publish to MQTT broker. And uh, from any MQTT client, you can read those data. And if your MQTT client update any of this topic, then NodeRed will get the topic and it will write back that data to Modbus TCP device. You can also do the same for your Modbus serial device as well. So that thing we are going to cover in the next video. Okay, so this video is mainly focusing on Modbus TCP IP to MQTT bidirectional gateway and which is highly optimized gateway. Okay, you can also optimize furthermore as per your requirement, but I have uh, optimized it for my use case. Okay, you can see here. So we have only three uh, groups and for each group we have three node so first node will read the data from my modbus tcp device also i can read multiple modbus tcp devices as well it's up to me or it's up to your use case that how much modbus tcp device data you want to read okay once you read the data you can use this function and you can publish your data to mqtt broker it can be any mqtt broker right now i'm using my mosquito mqtt broker which is running in my local system okay but you can use any cloud or local mqtt broker and for this group I am reading the call status and then I'm publishing the call status to my uh, MQTT broker and here I am reading the call status and whenever any subscriber update any of the topic it will read that topic okay it will extract the data from that topic extract the tag value extract the tag name everything and it will write back that data to Modbus TCP device in the field 
okay so i hope this thing is clear and if you want to get this flow then the link of purchase in the description of this video you can go there and you can purchase this flow and you can use this flow for multiple morbus device and uh, multiple mqtt brokers okay it's up to your use case how you want to use it but scalability is possible with this flow so i hope everything is clear about this flow and if you still have any question or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp also you can comment on this video okay also you can ping me on linkedin otherwise we will meet you in the next video and in the next video we are going to cover the same thing about morbus serial device okay so stay tuned and we will meet you in the next video thank you